The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Think about the penalty situation, right? What's your view on that? The, first, the one in the first half where Ramona, yeah. I'm not sure, I haven't seen it. At the time, when it happened, from that distance, what, what is it, 65, 70 metres, I guess, where I'm standing, I, of course, want to shout for one. But I'd have to look at it very carefully to see if it really was one. Um, and I must say, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't livid about the lack of the penalty, which might suggest that the referee, who was in a much better position than I was, got it right. Well, Will played really well the match, but he had the clearest chance as well, didn't he? No, I think, well, he had a, he had a chance. He, he created it himself with a fantastic run and rounded the goalkeeper, a good piece of work. I thought Mamadou, with the one we're just talking about for the penalty, that was possibly an even clearer chance. I think there were other occasions in the game when I was convinced that we might score here. Um, but, you know, in, in Wilf and in, and in Andros, we do have weapons. They aren't out and out centre forwards. So we have to use them in the way we use them because neither of them is a, a classic centre forward, but we don't have a classic centre forward. And, you know, I still think that doing what we're doing is the best way of using the personnel that we have at the moment, but it would be nice one day before the end of the season to have at least one person in the team who is a centre forward, who is a goal scorer in the same way that they have Kane and Son and Llorente and these type of people. And all we have, if we want to change anything, is Bakri Sacco, who's a left winger, trying his best to work hard as a centre forward. Well, you seem quite frustrated. On the second half, you were putting a lot of pressure on, and the referee blew up for a free kick for an injury on Son in the penalty area. Was that the correct decision? I don't know. You know, the fact is, I'd much rather come here and talk about football. You know, it's, it, 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 it's a trend now, isn't it? You know, basically, all, all interviews, not so much with you guys, but certainly interviews with the, with the televised media, it's all about a referee in the decision. You know, I've been in the game quite a long time as a coach and I've had lots and lots of games and <laughs> referees make lots of decisions and they get some right, they get some wrong. You know, we didn't, our defeat here today didn't hinge at all on the referee. You know, we, we were able to play and work and do our job and the referee did his as far as I'm concerned. I'm pretty certain that if you looked through the game and, and, and analysed it, uh, to the nth degree, you'll find one or two errors he's made. But then if you analyse the team's performance, both ours and Spurs, and you analyse that to the nth degree, you'll see plenty of errors that the players are making too. So that didn't interest me. Did I get frustrated from time to time? Yes, of course. Not so much with the referee, but with some of the things that happen in the game with your own team, you know, things that we're working on that you haven't seen and thought you should have seen in the actual game itself. But that's just part of football. That's part of being a football coach. That, that will never change. Um, no one gets the perfect game. Um, globally, I thought there's not a lot I can accuse my players of or accuse that the fans were behind us all the way. They made more noise than a damn side more Tottenham Hotspur fans here today. Um, but... I'm still here talking to you and I'm the loser and I should be leaving Wembley as a loser, which didn't happen to me too often in the four years I was coming here on a regular basis. Right, towards the end you were a lot making lots of gestures to your players to keep their heads up. Yeah. How fragile is confidence when you play that well and don't get what you deserve? Yes, it's fragile, of course it is. Um, and I thought that they did extremely well in that respect because when the first goal went in, and we're all goal to kneel down. You know that could be a time if the players didn't have the desire that I think they're showing. That's when 
you could collapse and you end up losing three or four because they've got the players who can punish you. Uh, if you start to lose your shape, if you start to lose your discipline, if you don't do what you've been doing up to the goal, after the goal. So I was very pleased that we were able to do that. And I think that's a, that's a, a positive, if you like. Um, but there you go. We'll, we'll get on with it. We'll, we've got a couple of weeks now. It's a, we've got a few players away but not as many as some teams, so we can still do quite a lot of work on our team and our team shape, and that's all we can do, keep working at it, keep going and trying to ensure that the players do keep believing, because in actual fact, as I get the impression, listening to the questions I'm getting from you, that you felt that the team did OK, you felt the team had a chance, you felt that we were a little bit unlucky, they've got to start keep believing that as well. And that something's got to come from within them because results do give confidence, but they don't give confidence necessarily if you're getting the results knowing you've been lucky all the time. And you can keep confidence knowing that in actual fact we're doing better than the result shows. So that's what I'm hoping will happen. Anything else? Can we finish the uh, broadcast there? Thank okay. You. Thank you very much, gentlemen.